continuing these walks in the snowy mountains and I'm having a look around the Spencer's Creek area. Spencer's Creek is crossed by the Kosciuszko Road on the way to Charlotte Pass and has some well-placed picnic tables and such. And when we look around this area, that is the south trig of the Paralyzer. And those are the twin peaks of Mount Guthrie. The first place I want to visit is up on the bend in the road there. So here I am about 200 metres up from the bridge. And this view here is really commonly photographed because we can pull off the side of the road. Everybody who comes to the Snowies has probably got this one. Funny, it always comes out looking smaller on the screen though. A little bit of zooming in always helps. The only complaint I have about this view is that we can't get the snow reflected in the water. So I'm going to go down a little bit lower and see if that's possible. There used to be a hut on that grassy site there. I've seen it marked as Adam's Hut in old maps. I'm going to head over there and see if I've got a better chance of getting down the creek level from there. Here it is, and it's a lot larger than it looks from the road. Usual detritus from occupation. A lot of the buildings here are still made with this blue stone and concrete combination. Okay, it looks pretty boggy, but I'll give it a go. Going good so far. Oh, looking good. Still no reflection. I guess this would do it, but it's just a little bit too windy. I'm going to head back up to the road now. I know it doesn't look far, but between here and there are a multitude of seeping bogs. Grab that, it's plastic blown down from the road. Ah, oh, the legacy of COVID. Underwear for our face. Oh wow, here's half a bin. That should do it. Wonder if this is where James Spencer went for his swim. Okay, I'm back at the view, and on the other side from here is a track up onto the sugar loaf. I 
Sugarloaf is an earlier term. On modern maps, this is the David Moraine. This seems to be a, probably a weather station, I guess. A bit further on, we've got this canister that's visible from the picnic tables. It is, but it seems very sophisticated. And off the back of this hill, we can see down to all the plains that surround it. Here we see across Johnny's Plain to Charlotte Pass Village. So there we go. Not a lot to it, but easy to get to the sugar loaf. Oh, and I forgot to say before that this view is to Mount Tate. Okay, I'm back at the picnic tables. And if we look across here, we can see the line of an old road. I'm heading over there. A small footpad leads down to the water's edge. crossing down this way that I like. And here it is. I use my walking poles for this so I can't hold the camera. No worries. This is the old road. That's the parking spot for the view from earlier. Which of course we'll see again in a moment because I'm heading down the same valley. Mount Guthrie has an easy open summit, but that ridge further on is really rugged. I think this track was originally intended to service a weir. So this is the end of the road. If we were to continue down this valley, we'd reach the Snowy River and Illawong. I'll just 
head down to the creek, see if there's any sign of the old weir. Oh wow, here it is. Well, there we go. That's this little section. Um, I'll wrap it up back at the picnic tables. A few years ago I spent a night in a tent in a valley up that way. In the middle of the night a huge wind came in and just collapsed my tent on top of me. I'll leave you with a picture from that. Adios.